Hello and welcome to our next lecture, next video where we discuss about the linear differential equation with constant coefficient. In previous we all studied about the first order first degree differential equation. Now we go for higher or higher degree differential equation, linear differential equation with constant coefficient. This is, seems to be general form of this is dn by dx n plus a1 dn minus 1 for dx n up to a and y is equal to x where right hand side is always in form or in function of x only so we have to write this in capital x a1 a2 a3 all are co constant if we put d by dx is equal to d capital d then our equation becomes this or we can say we can write function of d into y is equal to x then general solution or we can say complete solution of this given differential equation is in form of two part first one is cf cf is complementary function second part is pi pi means particular integral so our solution given in the form y is equal to cf plus pi complementary function and particular integral you always remember complementary function of this equation is finding with the help of FHS left hand side and particular integral is find with the help of RHS RHS means right hand side it means Complementary function we can find out by solving left hand side particular integral we can solving with the help of right hand side. So there are different different types of functions which steps which cases which we can find out. So first we discuss all cases for complementary function. How we derive the complementary function and how we write. First we learn all types of complementary function. Next we go for particular integral. Means first we solve on the left hand side of the equation and we can consider right hand side equal to 0. If this function x is equal to 0 then our pi particular integral becomes 0. Yeah. So solution is equal to y equal to complementary function only. So now we discuss about the complementary functions. How we derive the complementary functions of given equation. So for complementary functions first we have to find out the auxiliary equation. If our function is uh, equation f of dy is equal to x then a e auxiliary equation you put d is equal to m in left hand side. So our f m is equal to 0 is called auxiliary equation then step first one we find roots of equation what is the next step we have to find out the roots of this equation fm is equal to 0 particular uh, complementary function is totally de depend on the which types of root of the equations so there are different different cases we consider first one if roots are real and different for example if we have x square plus 4x plus mm, 5 so we have which type of roots um, uh, 5 uh, if we took this is equal to minus so minus of 5x plus of x or this is also we need minus so x square and 5 so x minus 5 and similarly this is also if minus 1 taking outside x plus 1 x minus of 5 so our roots are x plus 1 and x minus of 5 means our roots are m equal to sorry if we put m equal to 1 and 5 so which type of roots real and different yes so i will write now how we can write if we have real and different root of auxiliary equation so case 1 Roots are real 
and different. It means if we consider m is equal to m1, m2, m3, if three were these types of roots, then our complementary function we can write our complementary function is given by c1 c1 e to the power m1 x plus c2 e to the power m2 x plus c3 e to the power m3 x. Fourth root is there c4 e to the power m4 x. c1, c2, c3 all are constant. So these are the constant m1, m2, m3 are the our roots. So we can write in the form c1 e to the power m1 x. So this is case 1 when roots are real and different. Now case second. If roots are real and same. If roots are real and same. If we can say roots are m1, m1 and m3 if two roots are same 1 comma 1 comma 3 then how we write then we write in another way just little bit difference if our roots are two times repeats m1 and m1 then we write e to the power m1 x c1 plus c2x plus last one is c3 e to the power m3x. Different root is like this common root. If we have three common roots m1, m1 and m1. Then we write e to the power m1x c1 plus c2x plus c3x square means our pattern is going like that. How many times roots are repeat? We have to write like this. So this is the case when roots are real but repeat roots means same roots. Next third case. For the roots, if our roots are imaginary and different. If roots are imaginary and different. If roots are imaginary, our roots are, for given observation, roots are imaginary and different. Means if our roots are alpha plus iota beta and second root is alpha minus iota beta. Alpha iota beta means this gives imaginary roots. So for imaginary case, uh, we have our solution or we can say our complementary function is right like this e to the power this is real part this is imaginary part so real part on exponential e to the power alpha x c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x this is process for writing imaginary and different roots same if root case 4 if i discuss about the case 4 last one if roots are imaginary and same. This is third one. Roots are imaginary and same. Different. Next one. If roots are imaginary and same. Repeat. Means if we have four order equation. Our roots are like this. Alpha plus minus iota beta. Alpha plus. Means two roots are alpha plus iota beta. Alpha plus iota beta. Two are alpha minus iota beta. Alpha minus iota beta. Then how we write? Yes. E to the power alpha x. This just process. Here we have different. What is the difference? At this place. C1 plus C2 x. And at this place constant comes C3 plus C4 x. So our complementary function you can see in the book also they will write like that. If roots are in either you can say e to the power alpha x c1 plus c2 x cos of beta x plus c3 plus c4 x sine of beta x. So these are the four cases how we write complementary function for the given linear higher order differential equation. Next part is finding the PI, particular integral. Then we can give the complete solution of that given equation that is 
CF plus PI. So now I will give you one example how to write the complementary function for linear. If you see the example, you can go easily for that. If our equation question is D3 minus 7D plus 6 y equal to 0. Right hand side function of x is equal to 0. It means its pi particular integrals is 0. So our solution is y is equal to complementary function only. For complementary function step 1 we have to write in its auxiliary equation and find the root of that auxiliary equation. So for auxiliary equation put d equal to m. So m cube minus 7m plus 6 equal to 0. So this equation gives the roots. If you remember how to find out the third power root, you, if you don't remember, I will just show you. You can revise it. First find out the one factor or we can say value of m one value of m we satisfy this equation i say value of m is equal to one is satisfied this equation if one minus seven plus six means seven minus seven equal to zero so m is one value is m equal to m plus one m value of m is equal to 1 and so 1 root is m plus 1 so you have to write this m plus 1 is 3 times then we need here m cube so multiply this with m square see m square into m this becomes m cube right 3 times equal to first line between line you have to leave and then third line you have to write 3 times m plus 1 that one factor m square into m, m cube plus plus m square. You don't need m square here. Then you put minus m square. So for minus m square, you put minus m. So minus m, minus m, minus m square, minus of m. Okay. Then minus of m, you need uh, 7m. So 1m is here, you need 6 more m. Minus 6m. So you put minus 6 here, see minus 6 into minus 6 and minus plus minus of 6. So yeah, this one is, sorry, that's what I thought. This one is minus. So see, this is minus 6, this is. So our equation have factors m plus 1, other is m square minus m minus 6. So m square minus m minus 6 gives a factor m plus 2 m minus 3 and 1 is m plus 1. So roots are m is equal to minus 2, 3 and minus 1. Means minus 1, minus 2 and 3. Hence our complete solution of given equation or we can say complementary function is equal to roots are real and different. So we can write c1 e to the power m1. m1 is minus 2x plus c2 e to the power 3x plus c3 e to the power minus of x. So this is the complementary function or we can say complete solution of given equation because its particular integral is 0. So similarly if we go for the um, imaginary Imaginary also we can write like this. I will show you in short how we can write the imaginary uh, complementary function. So we go for the next question. For imaginary 